I know we're in the middle of my Pittsburgh series, but because the women's Final Four is uh, coming up uh, and the men's Final Four too, I have to show you my experience at the women's Sweet 16 seeing the Iowa Hawkeyes play. So uh, I want to show you the clips of it because the atmosphere seeing a women's basketball game with this much energy was crazy and Kaylin Clark is so good. Let's just get into the clips. Pre-game has actually been really cool and we're not even inside the arena yet. I walk inside the Hilton Hotel and there are just so many Iowa fans, like fans literally lining up, waiting for Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes to come out. You see fans of other teams, whether it's South Carolina, who's also here this weekend, Notre Dame, uh, LSU. So it has been awesome. But 96% of people you see are Iowa fans. And, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'll am i put it on during the game. I have my black and my yellow for the Hawkeyes. So I will be rooting for them. But, yeah, that's been so cool. I've seen um, Holly Rowe, ESPN reporter, come out when I was at the Hilton. Just saw the South Carolina women's team. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a whole lot more. We are here. We are here. We are here. Oh, my God. I am so excited for this. I am so so excited for this. We are going to have such a great time seeing the women's Sweet 16 here in Albany, seeing Caitlin Clark. I am confident saying she is the greatest college basketball player of all time, men's and women's. If Iowa loses, it will be her final game because she's declaring for the WNBA draft next year. She's definitely going to be first overall pick to the Indiana Fever. So they are playing Colorado. So this is so exciting. Oh, my God. Before the game, walking in the, the hotel, just Iowa fans all throughout. Like nine, I'm not even kidding. Like 90% of the people that have been walking the streets of Albany have been Iowa fans. Caitlin Clark Madness is crazy. It's been nonstop talked about on TV, on sports. This is the nationally broadcasting game on ABC. And then there's a game before that, the defending national champions, LSU Tigers, going up against UCLA. So, oh my God, two great games. My first ever time at March Madness. My first ever women's sporting event that I have ever been to. And, oh my God, Caitlin Clark Mania now. Let's get it. Of course, I'm rooting for Iowa in this game. So, I don't have any Iowa merch, but I got yellow shirt. Got black underneath the black and yellow for the Hawkeyes. The reason I'm comfortable saying Caitlin Clark is the greatest college basketball player ever is because statistically she is. She has the most points ever across a collegiate career for men's and women's. Literally last game she broke the record for most points in a single season by a single player. And when I think of the word greatest, I don't think of it in terms of best, in terms of like pure skill, but like significance as well to the sport. Like that's what the difference between great and best is for me. And what she has done for women's basketball has been crazy. I'm trying to think of, at least in my lifetime, of women players uh, who have had a greater significance to the game. And there isn't any other ones who have been talked about constantly. Paige Beckers from UConn. I remember when Brittany Griner played at Baylor and she was a big name in college basketball before she had her issue being detained in uh, Russia. But yeah, statistically, Clark is the greatest women's basketball player ever. And the why I say greatest overall, yeah, because how much she is talked about in the media, how much she has grown the women's game. So Iowa is the one seed. They are not the number one overall seed because in March Madness there are four one seeds. That's the South Carolina, who's perfect, but they should be favored to win against Colorado. And oh my God, I hate Colorado so much, so much. Not because of their women's basketball, but because of their football and Deion Sanders. Oh, it irritates me so much. So really hoping the Buffaloes go down. Honestly, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to go to a women's sporting event again after this because the atmosphere of this is going to be so good, so high, so crazy that I don't think anything can top it. So yeah, my expectations are going to be set sky high. This is actually my second time here at MVP Arena. I previously went to a basketball game, Siena versus Quinnipiac, literally one year ago. With the exception of Serena Williams and women's tennis, I have not seen the hype 
around women's sports as much as what is happening right now. So yeah, that just plays into this atmosphere is gonna be crazy. I gotta give a shout out to Sienna, my cousin's college and MVP arena. This is their arena. So you see their logo and you see all of their banners hung up. So it's cool that they are in the national spotlight with us. So before I get into my commentary on the game, I am just gonna play some clips where you're just gonna appreciate and hear how loud this arena was and show you what women's basketball in the United States can really be like. <laughs> Oh my god, that was crazy. That game, that atmosphere, just everything for Caitlin Clark. She's literally down there signing autographs for all of the little girls that are going up to her, just in awe of her talent. It does not do justice watching it on TV to see her talent. Being here in person, you're really like, oh my God, she is so good. It's not just her hitting her threes. It's the way the ball movement is, even when she doesn't get the assist, which tonight she had 14 assists and 29 points and six rebounds. But even when she doesn't get the assist, just she creates the plays and she creates the space. Absolutely incredible. This atmosphere tonight, it's sellout crowd, sellout crowd. Incredible, insane. The fact that this was a women's basketball game? Like, what? That's exactly why I say she's the greatest ever because statistically, she has the numbers to make that claim. And the impact, like, you, we never saw anything like this in the women's game before. That literally, look at this clip right now of this crowd sell out. Every single seat was taken. And uh, it's, oh my God. Like, seeing Caitlin Clark play, un unreal. I'm at a loss for words. This crowd was loud. This crowd was so pro Iowa, so pro Caitlin Clark. But just, just everyone was on their feet so much. Never would have expected this. In the men's game, sure. Yeah, you might have gotten this in many March Madness games, but this for the women's game, this is such, such a positive for moving forward. And the second that Clark came out of the game with about two minutes to go, first off, she got the biggest standing ovation. And the second she came out, literally like half the arena left, which shows everyone was here to see her. Pure domination by the Iowa Hawkeyes, defeating Colorado. 89 to 68 to score 89 points in a March Madness game is crazy. It is crazy, especially Colorado was the five seed in the tournament. It wasn't like it was against a nobody that was a, like a 15 or a 16 seed. Like what Iowa's offense was on fire. I'm so glad I came. I really am. Oh my God. This atmosphere, like, Look at this, look at all these seats. MVP Arena has a capacity of 18,000 and every single one was filled and was here. Some people were here to see LSU play. Sure, some were Buffalo fans and of course there were some UCLA fans, but I'm not even kidding, like 90% of the people here 
we're here strictly for Iowa. And even though the game's over now, party is still continuing on the outside. This is so much fun. Okay, I have no idea how Albany got the Sweet 16 and Elite 8 of March Madness. Like, what? Like, this is literally like the whole city like behind me. And then of like all the buildings that are not the government buildings. Break in. Good job, Kelly. 